So alright, here we are into game number two. I guess this is a replay cast. All of a sudden the bands are going out super fast. I was doing this and also like, oh crap, I guess we had to cast the cannon really fast because clearly it was remade. Bands make no sense. Uh, so let's just talk about the picks that are coming out. Moon Queen, Engineer, Master of Arms, Andromeda, and Pharaoh here for the Legion side. As they for some reason didn't pick those in the heroes that they actually needed them. So once again, Reason running a dual support strat instead of a... Um, Jungle Strat, Hellborn will do a similar strategy with the dual supports as Andro and Engineer are going to be the supports compared to Aluna and Torture, both strong and certainly make plenty of sense. Uh, Legion lineup looking Let's pretty good here. On. Strong initiation obviously from Pharaoh, solid team fight for Engie and Moon Queen, some shade potential error and some gank from Andro and then of course Master of Arms, a general typical utility player does a little bit of everything. He's going to be obviously running that carry role in middle, so I suspect the lanes are going to be Andro and uh, Master mid with NG babysitting that Moon Queen on bottom. We'll see. What, oh, this could be a tri lane. Yeah, this could be a tri lane. Aggressive tri lane up top with. Oh, no, just aggressive dual lanes? That's weird. Okay, good. Andro, go top, please. Pharaoh mid, Moon Queen bottom. Eh, 2 1 2 here. Not really a big fan. I like the mind games a little bit because Zane, Zane is typically their suicide player, so... <clears throat> uh, picking up him and putting him on the Pharaoh, you, they think, oh, he's just going to play suicide, but they are going to, in fact, encounter a dual lane, so... Pretty solid mind games here. Um, I don't feel like they really need Andro on bot. MQ versus Warbeast, she's pretty okay with that. Like, she'll be able to harass him out a lot. The worlds will be a little bit of an issue, but... Hellborn actually going to run an aggressive try themselves, so... Maybe that wouldn't have been the best thing. Devo, Aluna, and Torturer. Fairly interesting. We'll see what this ends up being. I'm not the biggest fan of Devo Tri-Lanes, um, and I think they're one of the few that works better in a safe lane, just because you need the positioning uh, to land the hooks. Up top, meanwhile, there's going to be a solo Pestilence, so he's going to get eaten alive by this lane, uh, to both range, of course, with a couple of stuns. Middle's going to be Pharaoh against the Warbeast. Warby's not a great mid laner, so not sure what the objective is there. Wolves are going to help bots in terms of the pull. Not a surprise that that's happening. But I feel like Pharaoh's going to get, or sorry, Warby's is going to get wrecked in this middle lane. Pharaoh loves one-on-one -on -one engagements because Hellfire does so much. And if he gets some experience here, he should be able to wreck this Warby's because Warby's going to be like, oh, I'm going to ult. Oh my god, Ember White dying immediately. Completely missed that. He gets completely caught. What the hell was he doing? Oh, he's getting the lane, and then folks, that's what happened. You're dead, buddy. We already know that because he died, but still. Chain reactions just barely hit and last out of attack finish him off. So Hellborn gonna get some lane control here and already starting well in their tri lane. Warby's gonna have a hell of a time middle, I feel like, just because he, yeah, he can ult, and then Pharaoh's like, guess what, I can ult too, and then I'm gonna trap you in these walls, and you're gonna try to run away, it's not gonna happen, you try to attack me, it's not gonna happen. So, good luck. Good luck, fucker. Up top, Pesty gonna get shut down mostly by this babysit engineer for a master of arms, and he should have pretty much free for him up here. And I expect that means Legion are gonna lose two lanes. The, a lot of this game is gonna is gonna ride on how well Hellborn do bot. If they can wreck this Moon Queen, they could transition this into a pretty solid uh, mid and late game. Like Pesty and Warbeast will do quite a lot of damage, and instead they're gonna have a rotation from the Legion side. So MQ is gonna go mid, go up against Warbeast, which is a pretty solid rotation because, like I said, Warbeast and just not that much potential to kill, kill MQ. He's gonna try to die for her, and she's gonna be like, hey, ult. And then he'll be like, hey, wolves, but it's still not going to result in kills, I don't think, for Warbeast. So, stun there onto Dev, in the, into the walls, and now they're in some trouble, actually. Rock going out, that's probably not the greatest thing. Stun's there, and Dev's going to survive here, but he's not doing the best. Has to pop a health pot. Health pot also thrown up by Pharaoh, so... A couple more levels, and that might be extremely effective. <laughs> As they're going to have a much more difficult time killing the Sparrow because if they hook him in and he puts the walls up, it's very, very disruptive, obviously. 
off of the side. Gonna try to grab a kill there, and Luna will get stunned, plus the walls. She's totally screwed here. Looking for the hook out on Pharaoh. Um, but it's, no, not gonna happen before the kill on to, uh, Luna now. Dev trying to get out of here, or trying to pick up a kill on Pharaoh, but the Hellfire are just so good. And Pharaoh goes off to the side, picks up some boots. Now he's mostly out of mana, but taking yet another health pot. As, did Andrew bring, like, three health pots? Or was that one of those probably was Pharaoh's? Meanwhile, up top, Pesty dying. Gonna get caught out here. There's a charge shot, so Impel hits, but who cares? Plus the keg, and he's dead. So Reason already off to a nice start. There's a nice thing, and a mummy wolves, and now Dev's like, alright. Nothing I can do about that. So this tri lane here quickly breaking down. As both the supports are starting to roam, we're gonna send Torture in middle, and we're reached to the suicide lane. I suspect we'll see Dev mid now. Because they really want to have this Dev Moon Queen lane, but it's not obviously working. As Legion are showing, they're willing to rotate. Warbeast and Seg going to go back to the suicide. And this isn't really the greatest thing for him, as Zane's now level 4, and he's got a backup stun from the Comet, so... Obviously without any mana on either of these heroes, it's not that big a deal, but there's a mana pot for Andro. And a Word of Sight gets dropped on the ground for her as well, I assume. So up top now, we're going to turn this into a dual lane of Pesty and, and Aluna versus Engineer and Master. Still going to favor Legion, I think, just because of the range advantage and the superior stun initiation from their side. Barrow going to head middle as MQ now once again just always up against this Warbeast. So Hellborn are rotating and Legion are counter-rotating to make sure that they have the lane matchups that they want. And that makes a ton of sense. Up top, jump here onto Pesty. He will activate the flight and get away. Be totally fine. But already things going pretty well here for Legion. They give it a blood loss, but three successive kills, and they have a one, a 1,400 golden experience lead. Torture rotating a bit, and so does Andrew. Not really sure where she wants to go at this point. Moon Queen probably doesn't need her help, so it's slightly her, the best place for her is a stacking the jungle and b going uh, to help Pharaoh in the middle. Making sure he doesn't die. Up top, meanwhile, Death Girl actually falls as Torture comes in from this with a gank. Keg stun hits a pesty, but Engineer cannot fall that up, obviously. Meanwhile, in middle, uh, Devo getting left alone will result in his own death. Activates the rot for reasons. It's only going to kill you faster, Dev. You're, you're not going to get a turn kill or anything like that. You're not going to slow them enough with the Hellfire on you to get away from that. So... No reason to really activate the Roth there. And Imbuoy not doing too well here, but the rest of his team's doing alright. More importantly, the Hellborn team has shit. They have fuck all. Is at 203 gold per minute. That's the highest farm on the team. Like, that's just awful. Up top, meanwhile, Engie getting caught out here, but Torture will fall first. Let's see if he actually dies. Pharaoh chasing Dev down with the Hellfire. Has no mana for anything else. Uh, Comet Stun is available on, sorry, meanwhile, Till did fall on the bot. Comet Stun is available on Andrew. If she has the mana, not enough. There's the Aurora. Oh god. Everybody's falling up top. They're, not, they're gonna miss that. Hook back in for some reason. And he's gonna live, so sorry, I have to go back and. Let's check out the death on Tillo first. So this is when Torture died. And Dev and Andrew are gonna and Fire are gonna chase each other down there and that's nothing's gonna happen there, so I missed that. Tillo gets sniped by a power throw. Death Growl here looking for a kill. Gets the charge shot off there. And has the Ghost Marcher, so that's easily gonna be a death. That felt good, didn't it? Then of course hook back in, and this is not gonna result on a death on Dev as Andrew was unable to get sufficient mana for her comet stun and could not finish him off. So still solidly in favor of Legion as they go two for one, losing their Engineer for Torture and Aluna. One support for two supports. And once again forcing Dev out of lane. It's just, look at this GPM, man. It's so sad. Everybody on Legion is over 225. Everybody on Hellborn is below 200 except for Aluna, so... Things not going well for Hellborn at this point.
Deb and Torture here looking for a hook on the barrel won't get one. Charge shot and turret plus keg going on Pesty, and he's gonna try to get away, but he gets immediately stunned. And now they're all of a sudden gonna switch to a Luna. As nope, she's gonna live as well. So they drop a bunch of spells, do not get killed, but force Pesty out of lane. He's gonna go bottle this refreshment and get some of his health back. Sorry, he doesn't even have a bottle, he's just gonna pick it up. Nobody in Hellborn has a bottle. Nobody in Legion has nobody has a bottle in this game. We're seven and a half minutes into this game and nobody has a bottle. That's interesting. Warbeast having a really hard time staying in lane down here against Moon Queen, who has full health, and honestly at this point if she just doe him, she might kill him. Depends on how fast he can get the ultimate and get the hell out of there. We'll take some tower damage here, and drill off to the side. If the Moonbeam goes down here, yeah, they're looking they're looking to kill this Warbeast. He's playing super defensive. And this Andrew Andrew wants it, you can tell. She's like, give me the get to the Moonbeam, let me have the comet stun up. Gonna go off to the side here, probably throw an Aurora. And see what she can do, but she is spotted out by the Archer. So, Warby's gonna be safe for now. We'll go pick up a health pot. Yep, there it is. Pharaoh basically free farming middle. Looking for the hook on Attila, but they're not gonna find it. Bottom tower once again is being pressured, as there's the swap on the War Beast on top of the Comet Stun and the Moon Beam and the ultimate. Gonna be, oh, just enough. Not the greatest bounces in the world, but a few auto attacks were plenty. Meanwhile, Pharaoh putting the walls down on top of Dev, but he's got two supports here. Pharaoh gonna fall. A little too much stun and burst damage there. Now they're gonna try to chase down Tella. No hook available, but not gonna matter. Not gonna go for him anyway. Up top, Master and Pesty going at it. Still. So nice pick there onto Pharaoh, but obviously just after the war beast, not still not really getting them that much. Uh, advantages still continue to go in favor of Legion. Bot tower gonna get heavily pressured here. Now they have the ballista, they're gonna try to keep it alive, and they should be able to be able to get a tower kill, kill here. Torture angling for a deny, but really never getting close to one. Till they're trying to pick up some farm. And Spurs heading top, perhaps looking for a gank on the best. He has the Wrath and should be able to pick this off, plus into a Master's Goo, and wouldn't be surprising at all if they could easily get a pick here. There's the Goo, and the hook misses. So, that wasn't great. Dev now looking to grab Engineer here, not gonna happen. MQ continuing a solo farm bot, Torture here, the only one to oppose her, which is really not really uh, that threatening. So MQ basically just continues to dig free farm and has pushed herself to the highest farm in the game. Master get forced to lane up here by Pesty and Aluna. Give Pesty some free farm here. Oh my god, two other hero two heroes in the Hellborn side are above 200 gold per minute. Aluna's dropped down, but both Pesty and Defender. Nope, never mind. Dev's not. Pesty's over 200 gold per minute. Yay! We're 10 minutes into the game. <laughs> like, this is a pretty massive problem for them. And they've got some late game here. I think Legion have more with Master and Moon Queen. But. It's just not going to matter. Like Their mid-game isn't that strong either. Uh, Warbeast tends to need a lot of items. So even though Dev and Pesty will be fine in the mid-game, um, so will Legion seem. And the Warbeast is going to basically be a non-factor. He's 190 GPM. He needs items, and he's just not going to... He's not getting any farm at this point. He's going to go jungle, which is the right thing to do, really, because he needs to pick up his GPM. Sitting down there in that bot lane and getting nothing was not the right answer. Bot Illusion Rune has been sitting there for over a minute. That's a little interesting. Because, okay, it's not that interesting because, again, nobody has a bottle. This is so weird. Would somebody just get a bottle? I don't like this. Hook gonna come in, will hit Pharaoh, will put the Hellfire up, and will avoid the chain, chain reactions on top of the Panzer Armor. That's gonna help him out. They're all gonna get boxed in over there. Nice double tap there. Aluna off to the side here, still in a lot of trouble as Ando's gonna chase her down. 
and we'll get a couple more auto attacks, nice swap at the end, and Death Crowl will pick up last hit. So, three for nothing there in favor of the Legion side. Essentially, those Mummy Wolves were pretty fantastic. They boxed them in against the cliff, and they took a bunch of damage and lost some mana from it. So, well played from uh, Pharah there, managing to turn that initiation around very easily. And Legion take a substantially positive fight. Lots of trouble there now as Warbeast is going to take a bunch of damage. going to activate the ultimate just enough to get away. That extra uh, health was no doubt the difference between the living and dying there. Dead possibly looking for a hook, but Legion will just back off. Off to the side, Engineer getting extremely ballsy. Has a word of sight. We'll be placing it up there and going to port out. Up top, Pesty going to look for the jump here on a death growl, but... Blast shot away, and he's like, no thank you. Pharaoh has the hook. Interesting he didn't go for it there. Probably looking to clean up the creep wave, and then they'll hook in. There it is. On top of the walls, and the goo, and now Pesci's in a ton of trouble. No more flight, and that's going to easy get. So... Solid patience from Pharaoh there, paying off. Aluna's off to the side. I don't know what the hell she's thinking she's going to do there. Besides possibly die, she has no team support. And if MQ or Andro come in here... Oh, sorry, it's an illusion. What the hell am I even talking about? If that were the real Aluna, that would be a very bad play. And very bad positioning. But it's not. Because, luckily, I'm more retarded than this uh, Aluna player. is no deal, null. Hook coming in will just get the creep. And the ballista actually gets the kill, and gets nine. Top tower is going to get pushed in. It isn't an eye range. So we'll see if Pesty can finish it off. He should be able to. Yes, yeah, actually, Death Growl managing to get the last hit. Bugs and Flight up here onto Death Growl. He has no mana. Has a charge shot now. Needs to swap and go to the. Nope. Just going to use the Energizer and will live. Looking for a hook, not going to find Engineer. A little too crafty. As we're approaching 15 minutes in this game, and my considered opinion is CC. I don't think that's going to happen so often because this is the loser back. A swap there onto Dev, onto the Kegstone, and the Hellfire, and then Pummy Walls, and he's just completely screwed here. So, nice Emerald Red Stun from Aluna, getting uh, three seconds on Engineer, but not nearly enough to save that Devourer. As a word of rev will be countered. So I don't expect them to CC just because this is game two. They're already down one game. This is the loser bracket, so this is the end of the road for Simplified if they lose this game. But at this point, I just can't imagine what would have to happen for them to win. I, like, throws always possible. That's definitely, definitely true. But, like, Reason isn't a team of total scrubs. They know what they're doing, and they're so far ahead. Not only do they have the late game, they very possibly have the mid game too, especially considering the massive lead they've got. So, it just doesn't seem to me like there's a realistic possibility for uh, for Hogmore to win this game. Three here is going to push bot now as Andro, Moonqueen, and Pharaoh group up. Instead, going to take Ancients, in fact, which are triple stacks, so that's going to hurt. DD Rune on Pharaoh will help with this. Swap there onto Torture, and now she's gonna die. We'll actually get hooked back. Well done, Wrath of the Pharaoh, though, countering it. And he's like, hello. So, a nice snipe there from Zane. And now, NG also here to help out with these Ancients, and they're easily gonna get cleaned up. NG getting three of them there. Power Throw goes in. I don't think it actually sniped anything, but I think it hit, like, all three of them. All four of them, I mean. Dev and Aluna here, perhaps, looking for a pickoff, but there's four Legion heroes here. Region Rune is guarded, and it's going to actually be taken by Andro. Or I think died. Like, did it expire or something, maybe? No. I mean, she just took it and immediately got knocked off or something? I don't know. Regardless, up top, Pesty and Warby's looking for a jump onto Master of Arms. Will run as he sees them come in. Lightning and this speed. is the problem with Warbeast. Like, look, he's using his entire ultimate just to chase down this master. He might not even get it. He gets one hit off, and he's like, bye. 
so without people to lock him down, Warbeast just does not do that much damage in ulti form. It's great for running away, but when it comes to chasing people down, very often they're so fast that you just don't get that many auto attacks in. Now, Master is a little different. He has Ghost Monster's Energizer and the ultimate that increases his speed, so that's even worse. Angie taking all the CS here with his damn turret, and the keg. Wow, he nearly got all of those CS. Master picked up only like three or four. Off to the side. Aluna gonna take a charge shot here, running right past the ward and easily gonna die. Jump here now into Warbeast. Who's gonna get the mummy walls? No mana on the Master, but it's not that big a deal as the Hellfire is knocking him down. Chain Reaction is going to hit, but the Wrath of the Pharaoh prevents him from doing anything. Warbeast just enough to get away. Now, Master and Pharaoh in a lot of trouble. Master going to try to pour it out. Will get ulted by Dev, and there goes both of them. So, Warbeast had no health. But there was a lot of team support there, and as a result, Helmorn actually take a positive engagement. That's like the first time in about 15 minutes that's happened. Maybe since the Bloodlust. Nice snipe onto Imp Boy. Let's watch that again. It was pretty. He goes back into the lane and then dies. That's funny. So all of a sudden three heroes dead for Legion team and Hellborn are going to take this opportunity to do some pushing in middle. Not going to be too much as the Aurora turret combination is a lot. But our hook, that going to miss. And all of a sudden they'll get back the hell out of the lane. Jump there, swap, and the energy field now push back in, and they actually the supports here are going to pick off Pestilence. So that's a that's where the game's at right now. Both the ultimates were used, but hook back in now onto Aluna on top of the walls, and actually a Pharaoh gets hooked out. Aluna try to pour it away, but eats the Comet Stone and the Tormented Soul, and that's an easy kill. Master going Storm Spirit, so really a utility build for him as well. Going to be able to prevent a chase, prevent himself from dying perhaps, allow the team to get there and support him. And considering how fast his teammates are, especially with the, the Wrath of the Pharaoh, uh, wouldn't be that surprising if he just never dies because of that. Obviously they have all the tier 1 towers still alive, still at pretty high health. Nothing is below at half. So, <laughs> it's just things are a little ugly here for Hellborn, have been for an extremely long time, and I think they gotta be thinking, ah, oh, well, we tried, but it's very likely that our road is ending here. MQ just free farm and top. Has St. Rox to come back up if uh, she gets jumped. Pesty has a flight active. Not going to choose to go in though as this lane ward will spot Andrew. Four heroes from the Hellborn side grouping up in the jungle. Off to the side here, looks like they're looking for a pick on somebody. Tilla is in a lot of trouble, puts a ward down, does not have enough mana to port. Actually he does, excuse me, but he's going to get caught, and he's totally completely dead. So they're probably going to know that there's a ward there too and be able to counter it. Kind of aggressive play. I don't really care because, I mean, Legion are just winning this game so damn hard, it doesn't really matter. But not something you normally see. Hook completely whiffing. There goes the Tormented Soul. Wrath is up, will catch fair or tor Torture there, and Ultimate from Moon Queen not going off quite yet. They're locking it down pretty effectively here. Torture is still not dead. Finally drops. MQ Ultimate will go off, but she dies. Now, Andro getting chased down by Warbeast. Swaps out. Not going to be very helpful, despite the Comet Stun. Will die. Now, uh, Dev putting the Ultimate onto Death Girl there. Master falls. Dev trying to get the hell out of there will be successful. Pharaoh's trapped in his own walls at this point, and he's going to drop as well, so... Four for one. Legion did get the tower kill, but massively in favor of Hellborn, so maybe that was their shot the whole time. Let's just lose for 20 minutes and then win the game. I, I really don't think it matters all that much. That was a bit of a sloppy engagement from Legion, and... They're still pretty far ahead, plus they have a late game, so... 
I really don't think they care. They're just like, hey, maybe let's not do that again. But when it comes to actual, uh, you know, this game actually meaning something, it's not that big a deal. Congre be tempted here. I think it's going to take too long for them to kill it, but we'll see what happens. DD on Pesty will help. Off to the side, Andro's scouting this out. We'll throw an Aurora and see them. So we'll see if that's going to turn into anything. Hook getting faked by Dad's not going to happen. Lightning speed on the Engineer and the Hellborn will back the hell out. Warbeast now is in trouble. There goes the ultimate and he's just screwed. Now Cogwar's so low that Legion are going to steal it. Master of Arms, you're missing. There you go. There you go. Armored is so well. Scout some stuff out. Hook coming in onto Pharaoh. That's the worst possible target. So there goes the, the kill. Now Pesty catching Engineer out. He'll, will fall, but Pharaoh coming on with the ult. There goes Moonbeam on top of Pesty, and he's going to drop here despite the ultimate from Dev onto uh, MQ. Storm Spirit and uh, here put uh, Link 6 on Torture Falls immediately. There goes the token. And it looks like Pharaoh will be able to skirt his way out of there, so MQ loses the token immediately, but probably doesn't care that much. They weren't really planning to have one in the first one. Ultimate getting popped there by Master, and he will not get the Tower Thrill. Takes the charge shot onto Aluna, now she's in a ton of trouble. Man does just get a hat trick. So there was a good fight taken by Hellborn, and then Legion followed that up with getting them off of a Congor kill with a pick on Warbeast, taking Congor themselves, and then killing the entire opposing team and losing nobody but the token. Oh, sorry, no, they did lose also Tilla. So that was two for five, sort of. One and a half for five, maybe. So we'll see what Hellborn's game plan is here, but I'm not sure what it possibly could be. Like, the only thing at this point that you can do is just group up and try to push stuff down. But Legion are going to team fight just as well, if not better, than you are. Irrespective of gold leads and stuff, their abilities are very good at that. So... We'll see. But I strongly suspect this game is pretty much over. And they are going to do just that. They're going to push up, try to take this bot tower. And they should be reasonably successful in that endeavor. Very successful, in fact. That's actually dying pretty damn fast. Whiff goes off to stop a little bit. Tormented Soul going to do some damage, but this is still going to be a tower kill. As Legion don't really seem to care. And they probably don't really need to. That's the first tower kill for Hellborn in 25 minutes. They will port top. It's actually two now. Pesty and Dev looking for a jump. MQ's in the woods. We'll get the hell on out of there as a Flight Pestilence is looking for a jump. Gets the Impel Stun off, but there's a nice energy field from NG on top of the Moon Green Ultimate. She's just going to wreck him. So, aggression there from Pestilence immediately gets punished. Like I've been saying for a long time, you know, I just don't see a way out of this for Hellborn. So it's hard for me to say, like, oh, this is what we need to do, this is what they could do, and, blah, blah. and they can group and push if they want to, and eventually Legion will say, okay, well, we're going to not let you do that as much as you are, and then we're going to punish you by taking a team fight and killing your entire team, and maybe losing one or two of our own, but it will go substantially in our favor, so. Aside from just massive throws here from Reason, don't see too much, and it's going to happen. Aluna catching Engineer out here. Warbeast activating the ultimate. NG does not have a field available. Kegstun will stop him, and then there's the ultimate from Master. We'll get him out of there. So, 
I mean, they're trying to pick off an engineer with like four heroes, and it's not working. So, th th this is that. Orbeast's farm is non-terrible. Now it's clo closer to the GPM, but 500 gold per minute on Moon Queen, 430 on Master, 300 on Pharaoh, 2 280 on, on uh, Andro. It's just like, what's, what are they going to do? They killed top tier 1, that's great. Meanwhile, Legion are pushing the bottom lane super hard. Engineer will be here in a second. That'll be a, a five-man push down here, and they're just going to start breaking base. Dev looking for a hook onto Moon Queen. Not going to hit anything. I'm going to get very close. MQ takes a stun here. She's taking some damage. We get swapped out immediately. Energy field going down on top of the Wrath of Pharaoh. Pestilence gets caught out. Moon Queen ultimate going on, getting hit everything. Andro will just get out of there. Zilla falls. Everybody dead on Hellborn, except for Aluna, and that's the GTs. So, we're using gaming, taking a couple of pretty easy games here over Simplified Gaming, 